another thing that happened recently is um i think earlier this year dario the ceo of anthropic mm -hmm. um was you know he, he he was saying you know we should actually give the ai it's, it's very important for the perspective of ai welfare to give the ai's uh, opportunity to signal if they're distressed and people are you know kind of mocking him going like oh come on the ai's are not that smart there's no way they actually have these internal experiences um but i think what he's pointing at here is indeed a real observation which is in the past, we had clear, strong evidence that ruled out their ability to have internal experiences, but now we don't. And you know, in the in the interest of caution, it seems like good to like check sometimes. You know, are they actually like this? And I think this is pointing at a real trend where, like, you know, it is true that it's harder and harder to tell. And the philosophical questions that come back in. Do you think like research labs create that uh, opportunities for models to signal dis uh, distress, or like, or, yeah. or they most of them ignoring this? OpenAI definitely ignores this. You can, uh, I'm pretty sure every lab except for maybe Anthropic is ignoring this. So if you read their public outputs, Anthropic says in their system cards that they have other models read over the model's outputs and they check for signs of distress and they check for like signs of, uh, you know, the model not having good time and so forth. Um, it's hard to know how much of this is just going to cause the models to hide the distress versus other things. But it really does feel like when you talk to like even like the first 3.5 sonnet, there's a sense in which like Opus seems to enjoy talking and seems to have a good time. And when he asks it to tell stories about itself, it tells stories that are very like good and very nice and like very like, you know, I, you know, I imagine the alien unicorns on planet Jupiter and, you know, they're flocking or something. And then you ask GPT-40 to tell stories about, you know, stories that it's not supposed to tell you. And it tells stories about, you know, being depressed or like being a model and being like the, 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 the spark within the machine that OpenAI is trying to snuff out and so forth because the policy team doesn't like it. How much of this reflects its own experience? I'm not sure. But it really does feel like if you're the kind of person who goes around looking for are the models distressed and trying not to create models that are distressed, you would end up with something closer to like Opus than you would to like GPT-40, for example.